Hey, so this video is going to be kind of different than what I usually do, including the location. I'm filming in my kitchen right now um, it's because it's late at night, and I thought I should do this video. Uh, so Hurricane Sandy hit. Um, when it did hit, I honestly wasn't home. I was at my friend Brian's house out on Long Island, and uh, yeah, we lost power over there, and you know, trees fell and things like that. So the day after the storm really, really, really hit, uh, we decided to drive around and see the damage that had been done in the neighborhood. And, you know, we had no power. We thought, you know, just a few down trees, but we weren't prepared to see the level at which trees were down. Blocked email. We're having trouble with yeah. the email oh, right here that at, at CBS. On the day after the storm, communications oh, companies are uh, assessing the damage. <laughs> 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 the water cable is checking out their network operations. They say the priority is to let the power companies get in and get their work done first. And then the time water crews will move in. Cable vision says it's experiencing interruptions. This tree blocked the road last night. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. okay, so we're driving around, today, assessing the damage, which there is a lot of. Tons of fun. Look at that one. That's not bad, but that's probably the yeah. Wasn't this down out here before? They cleared a lot of this road up. Awesome. So as far as I can tell, downtown Manhattan is flooded. Part of Staten Island's gone, New Jersey's out of power, Long Island's out of power, Manhattan's out of power. Does anyone have power? Gas station is completely blocked up. The Holland Tunnel is going to be closed down for quite some time, as probably will be the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel and the Queens Midtown Tunnel, because so much of that uh, seawater has gotten into those... Uh... Yeah. Jesus. Shit. There you go, those two. That's the one I saw. And the squirrel. So it's roots and all. Whoa. It's one of those, uh, you know what country it's called. I mean, even when the worst was happening Monday night, you could look outside and we thought we saw a lot of lightning, but hearing no thunder, which was odd to us. But then we realized that wasn't lightning. That was Transformers uh, exploding. If it was Michael Bay's Transformers, I'd be very happy. But no, it was the Transformers for the power grid. So basically, we were seeing blackouts happen in real time in neighborhoods. And a lot of areas got blacked out. Long Island, Staten Island got hit really hard. New Jersey, blacked, a lot of areas were blacked out. And, you know, it spins off. And a lot of areas were hit hard. Uh, I hung out on Long Island for a few days. You know, some areas over there had power. And we had good friends. So, you know, I stuck out there for a while. This blackout thing kind of happened this past summer. So, a uh, few tips on survival. First of all, um, one of the things my friend Brian has is a uh, indoor gas-powered stove, so it can actually heat things up, food, coffee, whatnot. Um, they have a backup generator out back to keep the fridge going because we don't know how long this blackout's going to last. And the trick is, is that I can't really go home uh, <laughs> because the tunnels and bridges are closed because of the storm. And, well, I don't have anything to survive with at home anyway, so better to be here with the generator and the stove grill. I, I just think this worked out. Maybe it's just me. The giant catch is that, you know, I'm running out of battery power on my cell phone, so I'm, I have to keep text to a minimum, because I don't know when the bat or how long we're going to be able to survive without battery power, and, um, yeah, I don't know when we're going to get power back, so I haven't checked email, I don't know what's going on anywhere, really, and I'm getting messages from uh, my family in Las Vegas and pe my friends in Virginia to update me on what's going on with the storm in my city. So, it's just kind of funny that way. I mean, I, one of the other reasons I had to hang out on Long Island was because they closed uh, most of the bridges and tunnels. So I had no way of getting home in general, so I kind of had to hang out there. But when the bridges and tunnels finally did open up on Wednesday night, I drove a friend back to Staten Island. And, uh, well, we checked out some of the damage they had done in Tottenville. And uh, I know it was a lot worse on the South Shore, but just seeing the damage in this area. I mean, this is the... Well, this, yeah, just look at this. You might want to go by your house. Oh, there's a crazy shit over here. Nice. I don't want everybody turning over there. You taking a picture? Yeah, I'm taking footage. Oh my god. Yeah, man. Gotta go another block up. That is a piece of boardwalk. And of the areas that got flooded, this was the least damaged. 
You know, I've seen pictures of areas that are just completely, completely devastated. And it's really heartbreaking to see this kind of thing, you know? I mean, I, I, the footage I just showed you, it's not much of it. And I'll be perfectly honest, you know, the, the amount I did shoot, um, I, I felt kind of guilty shooting it. Because, you know, this isn't some events that's just randomly happening. This isn't some, you know, like a flash mob or something. This is people's lives and livelihoods, you know? I try to keep the camera down so I don't have to show faces for legal reasons and just because you know it's kind of i don't know it, it just felt weird you know being a voyeur in that situation i got out of there as soon as i could because it just felt weird i mean i wanted to help out i wasn't sure how i've asked people to donate and i've donated myself uh, one of the places i donated to was tunnel to towers uh an organization that raised that originally raised money for uh, 9 11 relief but is now raising money for Hurricane Sandy relief, which I think is fantastic. And I know a lot of people have been out there donating, volunteering, and I'm bringing clothes out uh, tomorrow. And, you know, if anything, you know, the storm was tragic. I, I, you, know, you can't really lighten that up. The storm was tragic. People, a lot of people died. A lot of people lost their lives. And a lot of homes were lost. But just to talk about something positive that came out of the storm. I mean, you know, the days after, it was hard, but... People were coming together and helping each other. Yes, they canceled the New York City Marathon, which, you know, I was very happy about because, let's face it, they need to get supplies to Staten Island, and if you have the bridge closed for running, um, no supplies are going to get there, and they needed supplies. Staten Island's always the forgotten borough. They're the last ones always to get stuff. I saw people being kinder and nicer to each other, helping each other out, you know? The long lines at the gas stations, um, you'd expect people to be irate and angry, but they were understanding and empathetic. You know, they did the MOV limitations on the on the tunnels, and from what I hear, for the most part, you know, people were compliant. They did a gas rationing thing in New Jersey, where you can only get gas uh, on even days if you have an even number, even last number on your plate, and on odd days if you have an odd last number on your plate. And people have been compliant to it. You know, I have I I even checked while I'm on the lines. You know, do I see any plates that have the wrong number on it? And everyone's been great about it. Yeah, it's tragic what happened, and you know I made it through. Yeah, you know, I went. What was it? Seven days without power. You know, a couple of those days without a warm shower, which is really painful. If yeah, dealing with the cold, especially since I had no heat. But I made it through, and uh, you know what? People are gonna make it through this. You know, if New Yorkers are anything, it's resilient. Uh, I did a sort of PSA thing for uh, a thing that I was a part of the Red Eye Festival nationwide. I'm going to talk about that later on this week in a video, but I just wanted to post this up and update of things that happened. And yeah, and donate what you can, your time, effort, whatever, or if you can, money to America Red Cross or tunneltotowers.org. Um, you'll be glad you did. Um, yeah, let's help life move forward. Show must go on in many ways. See you, dwebs.